Welcome to the Man Cave Podcast with Dan Casper. He has uh, made his return to the studio. It's Brandon from uh, High V. How you doing, man? Good morning, Dan. How are you? Good. Uh, it's been a little bit since yeah. you've been in here. Yeah, Not much been has since changed. Spring or so. so yeah. yeah, still got the same signs. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, summer is kind of coming to a close here a little bit, so yeah. you know, got to get back to school, back to the studio yep. for you. Yep. So, good summer though so far for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It went really well. A lot of a lot of fun times with the kids and the family. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of travel. I had to go to Des Moines quite a bit. So yeah. Uh, but that's sometimes fun too. Right. So. How is the? Because uh, I know your wife with uh, with the ranch with the horses and that too. Uh, with a cool thing over there too. Yeah. But, she, uh, plug that. She's a little doing bit. that uh, equine assisted learning. So mm-hmm. she's uh, running Wild Dreams Ranch is what she calls it. And mm-hmm. um, really got a got a good amount of clients out there. She's starting to work with the schools. She did a bunch of summer camps. Her summer camps just went crazy this year. Awesome. Uh, she takes horses and does things that I can never imagine doing with a horse. <laughs> so she's 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 good at what she does for sure. Uh, we're gonna have to get over there and. Uh, do some stuff and uh, have a chat with her too i know yeah. we kind of talked about that too and i've never ridden a horse yeah, we'll but i want to try one. we'll get you on one we'll, we'll make sure we have video for all the listeners too. then so. i have the excuse to get a cowboy yeah there you, go. <laughs> there you go oh man we got a lot of stuff going on i mean even at the store you know something i think probably you guys have done the last couple months but our favorite thing is the five for twenty five? Yeah, that you guys got going yep. on. That that pick five has just gone crazy. We started out with it in just a little spot because we didn't know yep. how it would go, and we've had to expand and mm-hmm. put new items in there. And we that's our first thing we go to because that plans our whole week. Yeah, yep. you know whether it's the burgers. Yep. Uh, I mean the marinated chicken. Yeah. Uh, we just got steak cubes, yeah. you know, over there too. Those, those Dan Good burgers are mm-hmm. still the best seller out of there. So. That's awesome. So you can come get five packages of those for twenty five bucks. Yeah, I mean we that's kind of the first thing we night, grab. Right? Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. So. I mean, that's been literally that's the first thing we go to is to check out because then we build off that, yep. you know, for our meals for the week, too. Yeah. So yeah. whoever thought of that? Yeah, awesome. it's a heck of a deal, especially with yeah. back to school coming up. Make your mm-hmm. meal planning pretty easy, too. So. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, practices at night, too, with flag football yeah. and all that. So. Yep. But speaking of meats and that, you got a steak sale yeah. coming steak, up here? Steak sale starting today. So. Um, today through Monday. So if you're a procrastinator and wait for Monday, it's yep. still going on. So, <laughs> so don't worry. Uh, we've got New York strip steaks for five dollars and eighty-eight cents. Wow. Uh, we've got beef uh, eight-ounce ribeyes for seven ninety-nine. That's a great price on ribeye. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my my favorite steak, my go-to. Yep. Uh, but for the holidays, I like this one, and it's a it's a twenty-five dollar steak. So it's it's a spend, but for, it's Labor Day, so it's right. worth it. The the big T-bone steak, those Ooh. big, huge, juicy ones that are like inch and a half thick you throw those on the on the uh, yep. on the grill and just let them sizzle it's, yeah, it's yeah. delicious i know it, it's a couple i think a couple weeks yet or so but now you know phil had texted me pictures of the bourbon yeah. marinated one that's yep. coming up yeah, here so that'll be september 20th i okay. believe is our, our release on that one we just did we did a second round because there's a lot been a lot of feedback on it yeah. so, <laughs> so i think we're we're gonna have two weeks where we'll, we'll have them so right uh we did three of the the big short loins um wrapped them in cheesecloth mm-hmm. and then poured bourbon over it and Man. put them in our dry ager so it'll be a a dry aged bourbon bourbon steak basically and it's for the bourbon that you got like the hand-picked one yeah, right the, the, the new, new riff, riff single yeah. barrel yeah so it's that's been one of our most popular bourbons in mm-hmm. the wine and spirits so uh, we're actually going to do a bourbon event kind of at the same time that we we release the steaks so oh nice uh, keep an eye out tressa's page uh, mm-hmm. usually has all the details on that so yeah uh, follow her at Hy-Vee Wine and Spirits. And yeah, she's always posting stuff up there and keeping everybody yeah, informed over yeah, there for yeah. sure. Have you seen her bourbon uh, tower that she yeah, has? Yeah, I bar? want it's, one of those. It's crazy. Those, uh, it's crazy. Uh, uh, barrels yeah, over there. Yeah. So she's got barrels stacked to the ceiling. It's, yep. it's pretty cool looking. So. Man, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I definitely. Are you still taking orders for the second round? Then, like the yep. for, for that? Okay. Yeah. So so, so uh, just stop by the meat department. Okay. Uh, place your order. They they have slips that they'll write it on. Um, each each uh, loin gets about. I think it's 12 to 13 steaks. So, okay. So we'll have we're, – we're trying to get up to uh, about 100 steaks a week. But, okay. Um, if they go pretty quick, we'll, we'll we'll just keep doing more each week. And That's see awesome. How they go, so. That's so cool yep. to, to be able to do stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, it's fun. That's so cool. It's fun. We went back to the meat department just this morning. We, we started the second round, so <laughs> took the bottle of New Riff back there, and it's, it just smells so good coming out of the <laughs> bottle and pouring it on the beef. And I'm just like, oh, man, these are going to be crazy good. Tyler's got to love it working back there to be able to be that creative with stuff over oh, yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. He he loves it. He's he's always trying new things. He's always got new stuff coming out. So mm-hmm. 
Uh, smoking obviously has been huge for us, so he made an entire bunker just be smokers, Walmart. and he put out this week. Uh, we've, we were looking at some uh, recipes and stuff on beef plate short ribs, so that's Ooh. like the beef rib. Okay, so the, yep. basically the cow's ribs. Yeah, uh, and they come in this big uh, package. Basically, it's, mm-hmm. it's just the rib. You throw it on the smoker and let it roll, and mm-hmm. a great, great Labor Day weekend smoking thing too. So. Absolutely. Speaking of Labor Day weekend too. Is the chop house season seasoning? Chop house up? seasoning is a little bit delayed. Okay, we didn't quite get it yet, but I think we're going to get it um, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so when that comes in, we're going to roll that out. That's yeah. gonna that's going to be huge. So um, we we took some recipes from some really famous uh, mm-hmm. um, rubs and seasonings, and we kind of combined them and then did our own little twist on them mm-hmm. and made this. Uh, through our research and development team, and it's delicious. We got to sample it back in early August when we went to Des Moines for a show. So. Mm-hmm. I got to taste a little bit on the ribs yep. that you guys smoke, and yeah. I was like, "Holy moly!" Yeah, like I even asked, "Okay, what season?" And that's how I found out yep. about it. You yeah. know, it's like, "Okay," yeah. <laughs> it's, you it, can tell it's really good. It's, yeah, it's going to be a hit for sure. So we'll be sampling it like crazy. Mm-hmm. That I mean, that's another cool thing that you guys do yeah. over there too. So uh, definitely, anybody who's smoking or into ribs and that you you want to try out that that seasoning yep. for sure yep so yeah. uh you mentioned chicken too do you have like a yeah. so, uh, bacon wrap yeah here? So, so the uh market grills got into this uh smoking uh fanatics <laughs> so uh brandon that's over there in the market grill he's he's been doing some crazy things uh so he has half smoked chickens that he has out in the case for 3.99 for a meal super oh, super great great yeah. deal uh, we we do have the two piece tenders for three ninety nine. Also, if the kids come with mm-hmm. and need some chicken tenders, yep. uh, but then he's doing this bacon wrapped smoked whole chicken. So yeah. he he wraps this thing. He was doing it this morning. He was wrapping this thing in bacon. I'm just like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, it's so good. I I made a bunch of these yesterday and sold a bunch. So they're eleven ninety nine for this whole chicken, but it's it's wrapped in bacon and then smoked, and it just it's so juicy. Oh my and god, so, it's delicious. So. Um, so stop out and try one of those. Bacon we'll and chicken and long. smoking it. Heck yep. yeah. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. Labor Day weekend. I mean, this, we're going to have gorgeous weather. It sounds like too. I mean, it's perfect to maybe do some backyard barbecuing or, or eating out, picnicking and Absolutely. anything like that. Yeah. Stock, so stock up on the beer, make sure everybody mm-hmm. has their favorite, favorite drinks. We've got, um, a bunch of stuff like desserts and stuff in the mm-hmm. bakery. So yep. we'll make sure everybody's happy. Oh yeah. We always got to check out the case too, to see the different designs for the kiddo uh, yeah. over there yep. too. So <laughs> they're going green Bay colors now. So yeah, I like it, man. Switched it over. Yeah. All the donuts are decorated green Bay. Everything's decorated. Oh, green Bay. my wife is all big that you guys are into the pumpkin spice stuff too. Oh, uh, yeah. I got the donuts and all that yep. too. So she was yeah. loading up. Everybody on Everybody loves the pumpkin. It's crazy. It's, I know. it's like a week earlier this year than it was last year. And it keeps going a week earlier, like every year. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not a big pumpkin fan. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like christmas kind of you know it just moves up a little bit every year right yeah. so yeah. but yeah she's all about the pumpkin stuff yeah. and yeah. as you can probably hear from my little guy in the background <laughs> he's, he's not the biggest so uh so before we get to next week anything else you want to highlight for for labor day weekend uh before we get to a, a really uh, fun event friday so so some kind of uh cool things going on in the gm land we have obviously back to school so if you're procrastinating mm-hmm. and need your back to school stuff but we got all our halloween stuff out already uh, inflatables are up there so yeah yep. the inflatables are up the the candy so to me halloween candy is my favorite candy i could eat it all year round I know. the reese's pumpkins i just love those things mm-hmm. so if you're one of those people that could eat halloween candy all year round we're, we're one of the first stores in town to have have yep. all the candy out so oh yeah uh, stop in and check that stuff out we noticed it right away too and i think because he was that where you saw the football ones too the reese's football oh yeah uh, ones yep. over there too there so too. Yeah. Oh yeah, for we, some reason those like special ones on the Reese's are, taste better than the original. I know. So. Like again, my wife has to have the Easter egg ones. Yep. Yep. Like, like every year, yeah. that's a thing. She yeah. has to go get one of yeah. those. So, uh, Friday kickoff. I mean, you guys are one of the uh, main partner sponsors for the for the Packers. So yep. uh, next Friday, September six, they kick off their season in Brazil against uh, the Eagles. But uh, they're the second game to kick off the season. Which another team that you guys are familiar with, the Chiefs, yeah. opened up the night before. Yeah, true. So yeah. Yeah. you kind of got back to yeah. back there. But uh, because we get to have a game on Friday night, we're like, well, it's perfect to have like a little tailgate show and, and theme going on over there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, Friday, September 6th, going to be doing the show there. And then when you texted all the different things that we were doing, <laughs> I was like, that holy cow. Yeah. You know, there, there's a lot on there. I mean, breakfast burritos, nachos sandwiches for anybody for for wants to stop by to grab some breakfast yep. uh 
giveaways. I yeah. mean, a bunch of different stuff, so too. Our, our plan for your whole show is to just make it a fun party right mm-hmm. outside. We're going to do it kind of down by the sports shop yep. door. We're going to wheel the grill out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have yeah breakfast sandwiches, breakfast quesadillas that are made with the uh, green tortillas. So they're oh, green yep. and gold, right? Yep. Um, uh, breakfast nachos made with, made with our green and gold chips, so yes. you get the little packer feel there. Yep. All f- all for four bucks. So swing by Heck if yeah. you want to eat it in your car on the way to work, or mm-hmm. grab some to take home, or um, take to the to the office. Yep. Do all that. We're also so all day long. We're going to have thirty percent off on sports shop gear. Mm-hmm. So if you need to fill fill up your packers uh, gear, man cave light. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the new man cave the new light man is cave. out. We yep. got that at the store. So. Uh, we got a whole bunch of that, and we're going to be doing. If you buy a Man Cave Light for six ninety nine six pack, uh, two dollars off the Dan Good Burgers or any other gourmet burger. But oh, I, nice. I prefer the Dan Good Burger. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, there so, you go. You got your tailgating meal yeah, that day. So we got we got ribs and wings in the meat department. Uh, Craven appetizers. Mm-hmm. Those are those are easy to make. Yep. Uh, Valley popcorn. Those huge bags of popcorn are a good deal. Yep. Packers twelve inch themed cookies. Uh, take and bake pizzas. Ellsworth cheese curds. And then we'll be doing a bunch of giveaways, too. So stop in and put your mm-hmm. name in for uh, gift cards, some Packers appliances. We've got these yeah. little, like, ovens and things. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. I know, like, with with your sports shop, too, something I've been telling people, too, even for your high schools. you got you got local high yeah. school yep. swag yeah, in there, we too. Got, we got Memorial and North mm-hmm. and Altoona. And, yep. um, yeah, so stop in and check it all out. It's Amber does a great job over mm-hmm. there keeping, keeping up to date and keeping good quality items over there. Yeah, so. I mean, I think I saw some shorts now over there, too, yep. uh, available. And, you know, my little guy's over there. He's got to check out uh, the, the Chotsky stuff yeah. Yeah. over there. So <laughs> All the cool little stuff, yep, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, even, you know, Blue Goals are going to be starting off their season. Yep. Obviously, Badgers are uh, starting off tonight, too. So yeah. you got all that covered. Yeah, absolutely. And so. Phil's team. We'll, yeah, we won't, yeah, say we the won't name. talk about that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're already in the dumps. Everybody's right. depressed over there already. So. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't wait. Uh, but, yeah, great. I mean, Labor Day weekend, it's kind of, I hate to say end of summer, but, you know, maybe one more camping trip and grilling out and tailgating. Yeah, and yeah especially with the weather. It should be take advantage weather. of it and take advantage of those yeah. awesome deals, too, yeah. to, to load up. So, Absolutely. dude, it was great catching up with you again. Yeah, good to see you, Dan. I can't wait till Friday. Yeah. yeah I'm going to bring gonna the blast. mobile man cave. It's going to be a blast. Uh, I've got... I got a tailgating flag that I always bring when we go to nice. Green Bay, so it's like a legit nice. put it under wheel. So send, we'll send, send it our up. luck from here to Brazil, right? Right, yeah. exactly. I can't so. believe they didn't send you to Brazil. I know <laughs> they're kind of stingy on those stuff, so I don't know why. <laughs> All right, dude. Hey, it was great seeing you, and uh, have a good Labor Day weekend yeah. too, man. You too, Dan.